Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Janda. Welcome back to the Operation Freedom Platform and our ongoing series with my good friend, Dr. Peter Glidden. Our focus, well, this is now over two and a half years this focus has been, on your health and your welfare and empowering you, which is the exact opposite of what the deep state wants. They want to empower, if you haven't figured it out already, big pharma, big medicine, read that as AMA, big insurance, big government, and big control and big oppression. That's what they're all about. What we do here is we give you the information to empower you so that you can enhance your own health and improve where you are on the wellness scale, which is why big pharma, big medicine, big insurance, big government does not like Peter and doesn't like me. Uh, good. We both appreciate that. Uh, we wear that as a badge of honor. Uh, Dr. Glidden is one of the top naturopathic physicians, not just in our country, but the world. In addition, he's a phenomenal clinician, drglidden.com. And in addition, Peter is a phenomenal author. Two books you should have as the foundation of your medical library that's the go-to books. Everybody is sick, and I know why. An Attempt to Cure with Holistic Medicine. It's my honor to welcome back my friend, Dr. Peter Glidden. Peter, welcome back to the Operation Freedom Platform. David, it's always a pleasure to fight the good fight. And remember, illegitimi non est carborundum. Gesundheit. <laughs> Which, which collectively, colloquially means uh, don't let the bastards grind you down. That's right. And, and that's right. And, and that's what they're all about. They're right. about grinding. They're about oppression. They right. are about suppression of information. You know, you know Peter, and, and, and this is the key. This is the key to educating people, to provide them the information they will never get through the bought-off lamestream fake media, which is a tentacle of the deep state. And, and that deep state wants people sick, that wants people um, on the couch, mm -hmm. they want people sidelined, they don't want people engaged, they don't want people knowledgeable, hence why they despise what you and I do and provide to the public. Now, what we're going to discuss today is opening a huge can of of worms for the new year. Hmm? And we're going to discuss why are diseases skyrocketing? Look, if big pharma, big medicine through the AMA, big insurance, big government, if they're so good at what they do, hmm? why are diseases skyrocketing? Not just for the past two years, Oh, no. Right? For many years. Yeah. And what we're going to discuss, really the foundation, really, is, is a video Peter did called The 12 Bad Foods. Hmm? Uh, of, of, you know, what you're putting in the tank, some of what you're putting in the tank, if not a whole lot of what you're putting in the tank, is actually hurting you. And you're not going to get, you're not going to get that information from you name the channel on on your uh, on, on your television or even, on your radio. Even Fox. Even or even Fox. Fox. That's right. Even Fox, right? Just look at who their sponsors are, right? So this is why we have this information. The video is free up at in the top, operationfreedomhealth.com. The products we also talk about today are available in operationfreedomhealth.com, so you don't have to go searching for them. Full disclosure, purchase of the products in operationfreedomhealth.com does support this platform. Now, Peter... Why are diseases skyrocketing? Because, Peter, when children were born in the 1960s, 4% of children born in the 1960s were expected to develop a chronic disease, 4%. But in actuality, of a survey taken recently, 60% of those children who have now become adults have at least one chronic disease and 42% of adults currently have two or more chronic diseases. Pete, how well, did we go from 4% to 60%? The short answer is a medical monopoly. 
Yeah, boom. That's right. The longer answer is the medical industrial complex, mm-hmm. <clears throat> and which is fueled by the unimaginable wealth of the pharmaceutical industry. And it's not rocket science. All you have to do is follow the money. The business model of big pharma is not to cure people, not to make people healthy, not to make people well, but to keep people sick and dependent on prescription medications. Here's another interesting statistic. Uh, 51 prescriptions per year per person for 12% of the United States population who have five or more chronic diseases. So, you know, orange is the new black, well, sickness is the new health. It's the new norm, Mm -hmm. which is why the title of my first book was, or is, Everybody is Sick, and I Know Why. Right. You're welcome to your own opinion, but you most certainly are not welcome to your own set of facts. Infertility, celiac, Crohn's disease, menopause, heart disease, cancer, autism, diabetes, arthritis, joint pain, MS, Parkinson's are all accelerating. From 1990 to 2013, there was a 41% increase in deaths from heart disease. This is at the same time we were taking $20 billion a year of statin drugs, for goodness sakes, to prevent heart disease. From 1999 to 2015, there was a 50% increase in inflammatory bowel disease. From 1997 to 2011, there was a 50% increase in food allergies in kids, a 300% increase in diabetes, a 783% increase in Alzheimer's, and wait for it, a 4,200, 4,200% increase in autism. It's the creation of a nanny state. Because what is it? One out of 30 or one Mm -hmm. out of 40 kids now is born autistic. That's right. And Alzheimer's is the the, the next biblical uh, uh, epidemic plague. So, so we're screwed. And the only reason, David, that this is happening is because we we have been existing since 1912 inside of a medical monopoly. And the people in charge of the development and the delivery of medicine are trained in allopathic medicine. Mm -hmm. And allopathic medicine is ridiculously awesomely great for surgery when it's necessary, trauma care, childbirth. Mm -hmm. That's the wheelhouse of reductionistic allopathic medicine. And the most the the biggest advances in the last hundred years in medicine have all been inside of the surgical arena. New surgical techniques, new surgical equipment, new surgical drugs. It's remarkable what surgeons can do now. It's almost miraculous what they can do in the surgical theater. And that was your wheelhouse. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to chronic disease, mm-hmm. you know, the things that everybody goes to the doctor for, Mm -hmm. even things like heartburn, allopathic medical doctors are not taught the cause of the illness. They're not taught how to cure the illness. They're only taught how to manage the illness through the dispensing of drugs. I mean, you know, I don't don't think medical doctors practicing general family medicine should be called doctors. I think, you know, truth in advertising, I think they should be called disease management drug dispensers. Because that's what they are. And look, you know, thank God for insulin and thank God for lidocaine. Mm-hmm. This isn't a diatribe against pharmaceuticals. This is a diatribe against a medical monopoly under whose tutelage and care all of this chronic disease has escalated. And it's that's the reason. It's not because of chemtrails. It's not because of bad genes. It's not because of anything other than an inappropriate system of medicine. Uh A system of medicine that is not designed to make people healthy, a system of medicine that is designed to manage disease. So the older that people get, the sicker that they get, the weaker that they get, the poorer that they get, the more and more prescription medications that they're on in the last 10 years of somebody's life is a revolving door to the emergency room. And this is the new normal. And who benefits from this? Insurance companies, Uh hospitals, Uh physicians, and mo- most importantly, the pharmaceutical industry. That's right. We desperately need a free medical market here in order to bring all of the voices of medicine to the table. 
because my profession to do not go to see a naturopathic doctor if you have a broken leg and a bleeding artery. Don't do that. We are the wrong dog for that hunt. You need the appropriate system of medicine for the appropriate treatment. And in a perfect world, people suffering with chronic disease would first go to the naturopathic doctor or the Ayurvedic doctor, the uh, traditional Chinese doctor, because that's our wheelhouse. Mm -hmm. This is what we specialize in. This is what we are experts in. And this is what we are successful in curing most of the time. But inside of a medical monopoly, those choices don't exist. Mm -hmm. Because let's not forget, and you know, who made this law? The only thing that can treat a disease in the United States is a drug. <laughs> Think that through. Right. The only thing that can treat a disease is a drug. And who does that benefit? That only benefits the pharmaceutical industry, and they have us all by the you-know-what. So, Pete, you mentioned all those statistics, that huge increases in these chronic diseases, whether it's heart disease, inflammatory bowel disease, uh, allergies, diabetes, Alzheimer's, autism. Um, if, I, if we look back in the night, so these, these were figures you quoted from the 1990s through the 2020 or so. Uh, if we look at, at folks' intake of foods, the food choices have... I would say pretty much been the same, yet yet, it's the components yeah. that have changed that could well have a huge effect leading to these issues. Am I off on that? No, you're 100% correct in that, and that's a twofold, twofold conversation. I'll actually, the threefold. Number one, a driving factor in the genesis of all chronic disease mm -hmm. is nutrient deficiencies. You don't have enough calcium, you don't have enough magnesium, you don't have enough vitamin A, vitamin B, you don't have enough omega-3 essential fats, don't have enough amino acids. The body needs these things. They're mm -hmm. essential to the body's health. And if you go long enough without these things in your body in adequate amounts, things start to break. Well, guess what's happened, according to the United States Department of Agriculture, to the nutrient load in our food uh, from the 1950s to the 1990s. Sodium decreased by 49%, potassium decreased by 16%, magnesium 24%, calcium 46% reduction in calcium, iron 27%, copper 76% reduction. That's one, two, three, four, five, six minerals. There are 54 other minerals that the human body needs. You think their concentrations in the food have gone up or down? They've gone down. And the tragedy here is that we have known this since the 1930s. The 1930s, the United States Department of Agriculture gave a chilling report to Congress, which outlined all of this way back when. Not enough nutrients in the soil, therefore not enough nutrients in the food, number one. Number two, pesticides and herbicides, specifically glyphosate. Mm-hmm. Even the World Health Organization, the World Health Organization has come out and said that soy and corn grown with uh, glyphosate <clears throat> uh, as, a, as an herbicide dramatically increases your chance of getting four types of cancer and dying from stroke. It's glyphosate that does it. It's also genetically modified food is a big factor here. So we've got pesticides and herbicides on the food, which are slowly poisoning us. Mm -hmm. We've got not enough nutrients in the food. And then, to top it all off for, you know, the icing on the cake of irony, people are unwittingly eating food all of the time. That's hurting them. Mm -hmm. And these are the 12 bad foods that we talk about. Wheat, barley, rye, and oats. Oil in a bottle. Fried food. Meat that's cooked well done, nitrates as preservatives added to meat, uh, the skins of baked potatoes, yams and sweet potatoes, uh, carbonated beverage with a meal. All of these things, everybody eats all of the time. It's like putting diesel fuel in an unleaded engine. Well, something's going to break. Mm -hmm. So when you add all of these things up, that's why people get sick. And then people do get sick. They're in trouble, rightly so. They're fearful, rightly so. What do they do? Well, they have to go to the only medical profession that their insurance pays for, 
the only medical profession probably that's legal to be practiced in their state, MD directed allopathic pharmaceutical centrist medicine, and the medical doctors treating chronic disease don't know any of these distinctions. They don't have any training in it. Mm -hmm. All they know is, oh, you've got high blood pressure, let's do you know, a beta blocker. Let's do a diuretic. Oh, you've got heartburn, let's give a, a proton pump inhibitor. Oh, you're depressed, let's give an antidepressant. Oh, you're arthritic, let's give cortisone and anti-inflammatories and schedule you for shoulder surgery, right? Mm -hmm. Because they don't know any better. And it's the combination of all of these things which is generating an entire nation of sick and poor individuals because let's not forget another statistic in the United States of America believe it or not the leading cause of bankruptcy mm -hmm. medical bills yeah. so let's talk about what people can do from a nutritional side that they're not getting in what they're consuming because many people say well I eat organic and I'm eating and well that's all I need to do and that's well it's a, well, okay, good good on the organic side, but it ain't going to get it done because, as you said, and this goes all the way back to the 1930s, the nutrients are not in the soil. And it's far yeah. worse in 2022 than it was in, in 1930. Yeah, the most important data point that people need to understand is minerals. Yeah. Things like calcium and magnesium and sulfur and zinc. And a whole bunch of minerals that you've never even heard of before, like rubidium and chromium and americanium. These are essential nutrients. Mm -hmm. Your body needs them, but plants cannot make minerals. Mm -hmm. Animals cannot make minerals. Mm -hmm. The only way that minerals get into the body is if they're in the soil and the plant sucks them up. Guess what? They're not in the soil. They are not. So even if you owned 100 acres of the most organic farmland on planet Earth and only ate what you grew, you would still be minerally deficient. So mineral supplementation is mandatory. It's not optional. It's mandatory. You have to put clothes on when you go out in cold weather. You have to take minerals. You have to eat food. You have to drink water. You have to breathe oxygen. You have to take minerals. It's mandatory if you're even going to attempt to optimize your body structure and function. And oh well, that's 66% of your body's needs. Well, there's 34 other things that your body needs, vitamins, amino acids, and essential fatty acids. Now, some of those are in the food that you're eating. Some vitamins are in the food that you're eating. Some amino acids are in the protein that you're eating. Some essential fats are in the food that you're eating, especially if you're a fish eater. But not all of them. Mm -hmm. And this is an important thing to understand. You need to be replete. Your nutritional tank needs to be topped off regularly. Because remember the stress of life? Mm -hmm. The sure stress do. of life whittles away at your nutrient reserves. For goodness sakes, it's only a matter of time until you're running on fumes if you're not supplementing. Mm -hmm. And so how have we, what's our solution for this? Well... We've got your back. By the way, the stuff that we recommend is based on $25 million of research that was done in the 1980s. And the resulting research, the book that resulted in it, is in the Smithsonian Institution. It's a national treasure. It rewrote our understanding of the relationship between nutrients and disease, but mm -hmm. you don't know about it no. because big pharma don't want you to know that's about that's exactly it. it and big media sure as heck isn't going to touch it and it's not rocket science no. either man no so we've got your back and we figured it out it's the healthy foundation pack the healthy foundation pack gives you all of the nutrients that your body needs one-stop shopping in formulas and recipes that your body can actually absorb that's right and that's key Bioavailability is the word. That's the magic word. Giant. Because Giant. one of the fallacies is, well, you know, I, I've heard that any kind of uh, supplement product that you take, you're just going to pee it out or poop it out and it, your, your body's not going to absorb it. Well, that might actually, that, that actually might be true for a number of those supplements, but not this one. You're 100% correct. That's a big deal. 
I mean, I, I told a story a long yeah, time ago. Yeah, your buddy in Florida. It's worth repeating. Yeah, yeah I had it a is. buddy in Florida yeah. who had a porta potty business. <laughs> and he told me that they called the porta potties vitamin machines. Right. I said, what do you mean? He said, well, everybody in Florida takes Centrum Silver. Everybody's over, you know, 70 years old. Their digestive tract is crap, pun intended. <laughs> And so when we empty the porta potties, we see the Centrum Silvers come out. I said, how do you know it's a Centrum Silver and not, you know, a prescription vitamin? He says, because we can read Centrum Silver on the, on the capsule. So the old folks, thinking that they're doing a good thing by swallowing a vitamin, can't digest it. And that has a lot to do with the form of the vitamin. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a hard-pressed tablet with a shellac coating to make it easy to swallow. Well, that's the hardest thing to digest for anybody, mm -hmm. even with a healthy digestive tract, let alone somebody who's 70 years old who, you know, can't digest rice, for goodness sakes. Mm -hmm. So the, the recipe of the formula and how the supplement is put together makes all of the difference in the world. And our stuff is the most absorbable stuff I've ever seen, which is why I'm such a cheerleader for it. Because you have to absorb it or it ain't going to work. And this is a very, very important distinction. And I, I got to tell you, Dave, that the only one of the reasons this look, this is not a panacea cure all for all human ills. It's not that everybody's different. There's lots of variables at play all of the time, but everybody needs these nutrients. And most people. When they start this program, they take the foundation pack, they take extra minerals, they take the stuff, they clean up their diet, they feel better. Mm -hmm. Their mood's better, their energy's better, their sleep's better, their restless legs are gone, their blood pressure gets better, they can cut down their meds. Isn't that a wonderful thing? It's a wonderful thing. Why? Because the proof of the pudding is in the eating. And honestly, inside of this hostile medical, political climate, where it's, you know, pro- big pharma and anti everything else the only reason that we survive is because we get results so pete how can folks get your book and how can they follow you uh, on a daily basis well it's easy breezy just go to operationfreedomhealth.com there's a little graphic there with my smiling face click on that you'll be taken right to my website where you can become a monthly subscriber and get access to hundreds of hours of instructional videos also access to two hours of live chat with me every week. People from all over the world log in and ask questions. It's a really great community. And, you know, there's a saying in, in this type of business that people will come for the information, mm -hmm. but they'll stay for the community. True. And I, I'm here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, you're not alone, that there are millions of people all over the world who are fed up and frustrated with the pharmaceutical approach. And they're actively looking for alternatives. They are actively engaging the process. And when you meet them in the chat room, you know, the guy from Australia, the guy from Singapore, the woman with her child from Ireland, the people from all around the United States and Alaska and Hawaii, it's your head explodes. Mm -hmm. Because guess what? We, I believe we are the silent majority. I, I agree with you. And one of the benefits of having a subscription with me is the live chat that's twice a week. And it's a great community. Even I learn something every week. I mean, I learn something from the people that oh, sure. show up. It's a wonderful, it's a wonderful thing. And, you know, knowledge is power. And like Dave said at the beginning, because it's true, this information is not readily available in the mainstream, it simply isn't. And there's a reason for that. Yep. So educate yourself, inform yourself, and for goodness sakes, take charge of your health. You don't have a bad gene. Right. You have a bad doctor, for goodness sakes. It's time to look elsewhere. And if after the past two years, and we have to be careful here, but after, after the last two years, if you think government and the government docs and the syndicate docs are looking out for your best interests. Well, let me give you a new, a new year's present. If you haven't already figured this out, none of those above that I just mentioned are looking out for your health and welfare in fact. And if what's happened and transpired over the past, well, actually three years now, 
Um, I don't know what else it's going to take to show that. And that's why, you know, um, Peter and I get a lot of grief for doing this. But this is why we set up OperationFreedomHealth.com. It's why we have the products there. It's why Peter has his website, DrGlidden.com, with his subscription side of the platform. It's all there to help. But only you can take advantage of it. But at least for your New Year's resolution this year, or 2022, make part of that New Year's resolution that you're not going to listen to these people yeah. in big government yeah. and big medicine yeah. and big pharma and big insurance because they're making you sick. And that's just the way they want you. Fact. And oftentimes, ironically, tragically, healing is relatively easy. Yeah. Because your body wants to fix itself. It does. And it's really good at fixing itself if you just give it the right tools. So you, you're going to be pleasantly surprised when you jump on our train. Most people will be pleasantly surprised. So check it out. Take charge of your health. Really become a, become a health crusader. Become a health warrior, for lack of a better word. Just stand up and take responsibility for your own health. Think outside of the box. Slam the doors. Kick the tires and see how you feel. Because again, regardless of what I say, regardless of what, all the research, the only thing that matters is results. Right. I thank you, Peter, for everything you have done, are doing, and will do. DrGlidden.com, OperationFreedomHealth.com. I'd like to thank you folks for joining us today. Until next time, Dave Janda signing off. Dream big, dare to fail, and let's have a happy new year. Hmm?